Hey guys, and welcome back to the Jack and Dexter, the Precursor Legacy, Let's Play Walkthrough. This is part 4, and in this part we are in a new hub world, it's Rock Village. It's really nice, I really love Rock Village. Just look at this view. I know I keep talking about the, the view and the scenery, in every single um, level that we go to but it really is really cool oh no yeah it's it's really cool and I really love rock village because I really love rocks and mountains so rock village is like perfect for me So we have quite a lot of things to explore and new levels to do. So we'll be doing that uh, in this video. We will do a new level. We're going to be doing Precursor Basin. And we're just going to explore around Rock Village a little bit you first. Like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the Precursor Basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Mm, interesting. Story. Yeah, so we need to give her 90 orbs for a power cell and we're also going to help her a little bit and do some stuff for her at the precursor basin. We'll do that a little bit later in uh, this part. We're just going to explore around here a little bit. There's nothing special down here. That road goes to the underwater world. I think it's called... I can't remember now. Under underwater city or something. Uh, it's a really annoying level. A lot of the levels here are really annoying, actually. Oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton bull, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But um, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Everybody wants payment. What's up with this? Ah, oh, no. Not another hero. I lost my shorts on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. 
that wager pretty much tagged me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power sell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. So he also wants 90 orbs for a power cell, and we're also going to be doing uh, a race for him at the Precursor Basin, which we're doing in this part. So there's some stuff to do over here first. There is one of those eco things that has Precursor orbs in them that you need to open with the blue eco. So I'm going to try and do that, but it's actually a bit difficult. So uh, it actually took me a few tries and I didn't cut any of it out. So you'll be seeing that now. You just, oh, you can see the boulders being thrown by that monster. Uh, what you have to do is that you just need to be really quickly. Uh, try to roll uh, like I'm doing right now. Try to do that. Don't crash into things because uh, that will just uh, ruin everything. So it really does take a few tries for me at least. But I really love Rock Village because it's, I think it's quite interesting. Um, with a monster throwing the boulders down and all of that stuff. I like that. Oh, we managed to open it. Perfect. Now we can get our figures of orbs. Now have 213. We'll be giving uh, the people orbs later on and also getting the orbs from the monk statue thing. I can't remember. But now we're going to be doing Precursor Basin. And yes, Precursor Basin is a um, swimmer only level. Those are the creatures that the zoologist or whatever she's called wants us to help back into their hole or the hole in the ground. So yeah, you only use your zoom in the Precursor Basin. And that is why Precursor Basin is quite a difficult level. I know many people that love the game, that play the game and Jack and Dexter has um, hate uh, this I don't really hate it. Uh, it's definitely one of the worst levels. It's it's not like one of the worst levels in the game because it's um, because it's uh, horrible and it's uh, like not a good idea or whatever. Uh, it's just that it's a bit difficult sometimes, especially this that I'm doing now, chasing these this uh, purple thing. We need to actually chase. Uh, a few of them in the uh, Precursor Basin, so it's quite annoying. That's just one of the annoying parts, and also chasing the those animals back into their hole is also really annoying. There we got him. Perfect. And chasing the animals back into the hole, like that, that's what they're supposed to do. That one went in pretty easily, but it's actually really annoying because sometimes they like, um, I don't know, they change the direction that they go in and stuff like that. And that's quite annoying. And there's like <laughs> dark eco boxes lying around everywhere and they're so easy to crash into. Like seriously, they're really easy to crash into. So that's also another reason why Precursor Basin is annoying. But this whole subworld is actually filled with annoying levels. Um, actually in the next hub world too there's some annoying levels. Not too many levels in the next hub world but they're still annoying. Especially one of them. But I'll talk about that. Oh, do you see how he changed his direction? He just completely ch changed where he was supposed to go. But yeah, there's especially one really annoying level in the next top rod. But I'll talk about that when I get there. I won't be talking about that now. 
we need to focus on Precursor Basin and I don't want to talk about things that has not happened yet in the game and stuff like that. I don't want to spoil anything. I bet most people watching this have already played the game and whatever. But I still... Larry changed his way again. I still don't want to take any chances like spoiling anything. It's not like... This game isn't like, like uh, big on the story. It's not like a really complicated story or whatever that... Um, it's like... A huge um, a plot twist and stuff like that in the story is not like that. It's, it's, it's a simple game, but it's still a good game. But I still don't want to spoil anything. There's another one of them back into their hole. They're really cute, aren't they? Like red. They kind of look like big red squirrels. That's kind of what I see when I look at them big red squirrels. They're really cute. I really like them. I would like to have one of them as a pet. That would be so nice. Let's go get our power cell from the yep, that's all of them. Now we just need to return to the zoologist to claim our reward, with our reward which of course is a power cell. And we'll also be giving her 98 previous orbs for another power cell. Now, if we can just get this goddamn guy, we can move on to other things. Oh, I missed an orb. And if you're wondering what that purple ring is, that's a race. You need to go through all of the rings. It's one of those races uh, to get a power cell. And yes, it's quite annoying. It's not like hugely difficult if you take your time and you're uh, careful with it. But if you fail once, then you usually fail more times than one, and that can be really annoying too. At least I find it really annoying. I don't like doing those ring things. That might be like the most annoying thing about the whole level actually. Uh, but he's taking so long to get captured. I have no idea why this is taking so long. Sometimes it just takes a lot of time to do these things. I've said it before, I'll say and it's taking a long time now. Oh my god, I died. So when you die, you start here back at the entrance, so you gotta get back on your sumo. Uh, at least we don't have to worry about like like we had to do in the Hard Canyon about it being too hot that we had to collect um, air balloons. <laughs> you know, like the Lily Allen song, air balloon. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have to worry about that at least. If we did have to worry about that, and this level would have been so annoying. Like, it would have been horrible if we had to do that. But we don't, thank God for that. This is taking so long right now, I don't understand why. Where is he? Oh, he changed his direction again. That's like the most annoying thing about these, is that they just completely change the direction that they were going to and like ruin everything for you, kind of. Oh, I just want to capture him now so we can finish it. I oh, changed again. Typical. This is so annoying. And now it's getting darker too in the game. It's getting more into nighttime. Yeah, the weather at Rock Village isn't the best. It's like grey, like a, a bit of rain. Oh, there we got him. Perfect. Finally. Now we can move on to the ring. Uh, not the ring, the movie. But we can do the rings. Another Scout Fly 2. And you need to be quick when you're doing this. And yes, there's another area to the Precursor Basin. Fun, right? 
Um, you need to be quick when you're going through these rings. Uh, but don't be uh, too quick that you don't see where the next ring appears because they can. The rings can appear at like weird, random areas. Uh, so you need to be careful when you're doing this. Don't go too quick, don't go too slow because the rings can actually disappear and you'll have to start again, basically. And that's really annoying kiss, and you don't want to do that at all. So uh, watch where you're going, don't drive too quickly and you'll probably be fine. Mm, are we close to the end soon, please? I hope so. Not yet, at least. So it's going up here. And I think that's the last one. I think that's the last room. I think it is. Yep, perfect! Got a power cell for that. Yay! Good. I really like that they have like the animation where they get the power cell even when they're on the zoomer. I really like that. It's really funny. There's more of those purple guys to chase, but first we're going to do this for um same as we need to collect uh, the green eco and we need to drive over these purple plants. I don't know what they are, but they keep growing up really quickly. You just want to get rid of all of them basically. So uh, we need to drive uh, back and forth and pick up the green eco to do this. It does uh, take some time actually, but don't stress, it's not like really difficult. It might seem like they just keep popping out and you'll never get rid of all of them uh, but trust me you will eventually eventually it will just you will just uh, get rid of all of them especially if you drive through them slowly so that you're sure that you get all of them but yeah, I really don't like that part I don't find it fun to do at all but the Jack and Daxter games are a bit notorious for difficult things, especially the next games. And yes, hopefully I will be doing Jack 2 and Jack 3. I want to do them. So it's my plan to do those too. And a flower pops out with a power cell. So you can pick it up. The great thing about Green Eco is that each time that you drive into it, uh, like um, you get a full health, and that really helps. So now we're going to chase these again, and yeah, he still changes his direction. And I just want to point something out, guys. Um, I hope it's not like really noticeable, but <laughs> I was at the dentist today, and I'm finding it a, a bit difficult to talk. Uh, so hopefully you can't really notice it too much that I'm having problems talking or that I sound a bit strange. But yeah, I actually really do have some difficulty talking right now. But hopefully it's not too noticeable. I don't think it is, but um, just in case it is, I just want to say that so that you know. Now this little bugger, he will be driving around, he will be driving, he doesn't drive, he flies. He'll fly around and around in a circle. He doesn't really go that quick, he doesn't fly uh, as quick as the other ones, but I think that's because he goes like a circle around a small area. But there we got him. You need to like, um, the best way to get these is that if you cut corners.
and that's all of them finished. Um, yeah, the best way to get them is um, if you cut the corners. That's uh, the easiest way to get them, at least, I think. Cut the corners and you'll be fine. There's quite a lot of precursor orbs here, actually. So we'll, be, we'll be going up here now. Don't drive into the dark ego. That would suck. That would be horrible. And a scout fly! We just need one more scout fly. We got the orbs. Oh no! We didn't get the power cell. Uh, 200 out of 200 previous orbs at the previous basin. So we don't have to worry about previous orbs anymore. But I didn't get the power cell. So unfortunately, I need to drive back up and try to get it again. But I really love the look of Precursor Basin. I love mountains and rocks. That's, um, that's my favorite thing in nature. So I love the scenery here. Now we can try and get the power cell. There we go! Perfect! We got it! Uh, now the only things we have left to do at the Precursor Basin is first uh, there's another ring challenge. This time uh, the rings are blue. You can see it a bit over there. So we'll be doing that now. And then after that we'll be doing that race that we'll be doing. And here's the last scout fly which gives us of course another power cell. Now we can attempt the blue race. So these rings are a bit more difficult to get, um, they kind of spread out a bit more and they're a bit more difficult to get basically. So it's definitely more difficult, um, like for example this one you need to jump up and stuff like that. So this race is like the most annoying one. No, I jumped over it. No, be quick, be quick, be quick. Get it? No, I didn't get it. Oh my god! Like it doesn't take long before the rings disappear, and you have to try again. And the most annoying thing about it is that you need to drive back to the start and go through the first ring again. That's the most annoying part of this, and I don't like that part of it. But what else can you do than to try again? You can't do anything else than that, so we'll try again. Hopefully I'll get it this time. At least we're soon done with the Precursor Basin. We haven't really had too many difficulties with Precursor Basin. Yet, at least. We're not finished yet, <laughs> so I might have difficulties later. But hopefully I won't. No, I did it again. Well, I got it at least. Be quick, be quick. This is really stressful, like the rings. Oh my god, no, I think I actually failed this one. Yes, I do. Oh my god, now I need to try again. So go back to the start and uh, attempt it again. This is a really annoying part of this. Third try. Uh, three times a charm, right? It will probably work this time. I'm guaranteeing it that it will work this time. No. Oh my god, I'm like missing like the easiest rings. Jump and get it, yes. <laughs> and those creatures are still like kicking out um, dirt from their hole. <laughs> They're so cute. I really want one as a pet. So we'll see now if I'll be able, if I'll be able to get uh, 
this one. Hopefully I will. Yes, I did. Perfect. Let's see. Are we close to the end? Just get the green eco so that uh, you get the full health. Not that you really need it. You don't really need it, but um, it's good to have. Like, why not pick up the health, you know? Oh, yeah. oh my god. This is really tense. Like, I'm just hoping that I don't fail. All the rings are going up here now. Picking up the difficulty. Now, this is a bit a uh, difficult part because you need to go a bit slow here to not fall off. Oh, you still need to be quick to get the rings, so that's the difficult part. Oh, this is the last one. Yeah, there we have the power cell. Now, all we have left to do is that race for the guy. So we'll go back to the start, uh, not really the start, but over here, and it's to the left, just here. Just drive through there and you get uh, 45 seconds. Uh, the record is 45 seconds. What am I doing? I'm so going to be failing this round. What the hell? Okay, I think I will fail this round, but um, yeah, you need to beat the record. The record is 45, uh, I almost said 45 minutes, it's not, that would be crazy. <laughs> it's 45 seconds. Um, but I'll probably uh, fail it this time around since I fucked it up and also did it there too, fucked it up a bit. Yeah, I'll definitely fail it, but we'll just try again. Yeah, I failed, try again. Uh, it's, it's not even a difficult race either, which is so, why it's so embarrassing. Um, but don't get cocky and try to cut corners during this like I do, because then I'll just fail. And there's also blue eco lying about. You can pick up to go quicker if you want to. And also, if you... Um, if you drive over the lurkers, then they will kind of give you a little jump, especially here. If you drive into them, you can jump up in the air and get the eco. But you don't have to do it, because you can easily do it without, like I am about to do. That was almost a fail though, just a few many seconds. There we go, we just need to return to the gambler and to the geologist. And we've finished the Precursor Basin 100%. Now we can put our Zoomer back. And I think we can go back to the Zoologist first because she's closest to us. Thank you for saving those molds. That's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. And it seems like I forgot to give her bigger orbs, so I'll just uh, do that after, I'm guessing. Wonderful. We'll give him 90 orbs though. You brought me the precursor orbs. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. The precursor orb. Nope, power cell for that. Um, <laughs> mixing them up. I knew that time record would fall. Now here's your power cell, and I can go collect my big payoff. And another power cell. We're just getting them like a lot of them. They're just flowing in. Forty-five power cells. 
so we need to go to that monk uh, statue thing. I still can't remember the name. Um, what the hell am I doing? No! No, we're going to get eaten! Yeah, that's the huge fish that will get you. At least I show. I could show. Oh, at least I showed you there what happens if you fall into the water. But that was not my intention. Now we'll go over here and give uh, Beer's orbs for power cells. This is the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Here is another power cell for your quest. For your sacrifice. I offer you a power cell. Two power cells really easily. Yeah, and that's what basically we're going to be doing in this part. Uh, we're going to make our way to the next level and we'll be ending this part uh, before we go in. In the next part we'll be doing a Boggy Swamp. Which is also an annoying level, which a lot of people hate, but we still have to do it. So we'll be doing that in the next part. I really hope you enjoyed the video, that you enjoyed Precursor Basin, even though it was a bit annoying. I hope to see you guys in the next part for Boggy Swamp. See you then. Is it the last one? Yeah, that's the last Scout Eye and a Parasite. See you guys in the next part. Goodbye.